Hey guys, in this lesson, I am going to show you a quick way to factorize quadratics. So let's go. Now I've got four different questions uh, to show you this method. Two of those are where the coefficient of x squared is just one and two of those where the coefficient of x squared is more than one. So on to the first one. How do we answer this? Well, the coefficient of x squared here is 1. It's not written, but it is there. So you just do 1 times 7. And 1 times 7 is plus 7. And then you find the factors of 7, which is 1 and 7, and that's it. And in terms of sine, uh, we want to make an 8. So both of them have to be positive, because when you add them, they have to give you 8. And when you multiply them, they have to give you plus 7. So after that, you take this value here, which is um, x squared, uh, but without the square and just put it over these numbers. So x over plus 1 and x over plus 7. Now, you don't really have to do this process. You can actually go straight into the brackets for this. But I want to show you this because I'm building you up on how to answer this more efficiently. So what you do is you simplify if you can. Now, obviously, this is in the simplest form. So the bracket will be x plus 1 and x plus 7. So let's go on to this one now. Um, exactly the same process, 1, which is here, times by the minus 2 is minus 2, and we're finding the factors of 2, so 1 and 2. Again, they want to multiply these numbers to give you minus 2, so one of them has to be a positive and one of them has to be a negative. Bear in mind, we want to make a minus 1, so therefore it's going to be minus 2 and plus 1. Now, again, you take this x squared, but without the square, just the x, and divide it by the first number, which is plus 1. You do that with the second one as well, so x minus 2, and then your bracket would be, in its simplest form, x plus 1 and x minus 2. And this is this expression factorized. This is where it becomes more useful when you actually apply it to these types of questions, because these questions are pretty much straightforward, and most students can just open up two empty brackets and plug those numbers in. Here is where, in my other videos, I've shown you using the AC method, and this method, avoid using that method if you found it, maybe it's still confusing, um, maybe give this one a try, okay? So, once again, 3 will multiply by the 5 here, which is plus 15, and we find the factors of 15, which is 1, 15, um, 3, and 5, and we want to make sure that we can get a minus 16 out of it, which is going to be using this combination. Now, we want to multiply to give plus 15 and add to give minus 16, which means both of them have to be negative because minus 1 minus 15 is minus 16 and minus 1 times by minus 15 is a positive 15. Now, this is where you pay attention because what we did here was pretty much straightforward. Here, what we do is we take the 3x squared without the square, so we just write 3x over minus 1. And we simplify this if we can. So the numbers, we try to simplify. Obviously, we can't. So this bracket will just become 3x minus 1. The second one, we do the same thing. So once again, 3x, again, this value here without the square, over minus 15. And this time, we can simplify. So we can divide 3 and 15 by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is just 1, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So this ends up with 1x over minus 5, which is simply x minus 5. And this has factorized this expression right there. On to the final one. Maybe you could try this method yourself. Pause the video here and press play again when you're ready to go through the solution with me. All right, so uh, let's see what we did here. You do 5 times minus 9, which is minus 45. Find the factors of 45, so 1, 45, uh, 3, and 15, uh, 5, and 9. And again, what we're looking for, we're looking to make 12. So once again, which combination gives 12? It's this one in the middle here. And we're looking for minus. So one of them has to be positive and one of them has to be negative. Uh, but we want to make a plus 12. So 15 minus 3 gives us plus 12. So what do we do? Just like before, without the square, we write 5x over the first one, which is minus 3. Simplify if you can. You can't in this case, so it's just 5x minus 3, our first bracket. Second one will be 5x without the square once again over plus 15. And notice here I'm writing the signs, so you need to do the same thing as well. You need to remember to write the signs with it, as I did here with the negative, right? So here you can be simplified. You can divide by 5, both of them. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So this bracket becomes 1x plus 3, so x plus 3. And there you have 
this factorizing this expression. Now, before you go, I just want to do one more where you have to simplify both fractions, okay? Because currently you've only seen where you only simplify one of them, right? So I've got 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. So 6 times minus 10 is minus 60. We find the factor of 60, 1 and 60, uh, 2 and 30, uh, 3 and 20, 14, 5 and 12, and then you've got 6 and 10. Um, and we want to make minus 11. So, uh, which combination gives us minus 11? This one can give us minus 11 right there. Uh, we want to make minus 60 and add to give 11, minus 11. So minus 15 plus 4. Right, let's go. So 6x squared without the square, so we write 6x over the first one, which is plus 4. And we simplify. So divide by 2, divide by 2. Divide by 2 gives us 3, divide by 2 gives us 2. So our bracket here would be 3x plus 2. On to the next one. So once again, 6 x without the square once again over minus 15. So you can divide both of them by 3. So divide by 3 gives you 2, divide by 3 gives you 5. So what do you have? 2x minus 5. So the second bracket is 2x minus 5. And here you have this factorized from this expression. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I call it the quick cheat factorizing um, and it's very useful. You can now factorize any type of quadratic. Please don't forget to give this video a like. Uh, make sure you are subscribed and have your bell notifications on for any future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.